I was so impressed with this phone after a week using it that I had to throw another video up there. I've done a lot of reviews on a lot of budget phones in these couple of years. And this phone for the price range for around $250, this thing just makes you go like, whoa, how can they sell this phone for this price? You have the world first Helio G99 chipset on this phone. What does that mean? It is so powerful that I done um, uh, a download test with this phone. I did one with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. I did a game uh, called uh, Asphalt 9 that is 2.85 uh, gigabytes. And the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, I had it on a timer. It downloaded the game, uh, I think one minute and 90 seconds, something like this. And I did a download test with this phone. You guys should see it. And the game is 2.85 gigabytes. This is a huge game, guys. So let's go. It's already going very fast. So that means this chipset, Alio G99, it is powerful. I tried this with uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It took me around, uh, what was it, one minute and uh, 90 seconds to download it. Almost there. I think it's gonna beat Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Come on. Come on. It just beat Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. One minute and 54 seconds, guys. And when it comes to gaming, you can throw any kind of game there is out there on this phone, and this phone can handle it. I played Asphalt 9 on this phone. It was so smooth. I played PUBG, Call of Duty, and some other games performed so good, guys. <laughs> Obviously there is something that I didn't like about this phone, but I'm gonna mention that uh, in a minute. Now we're gonna be talking about the display on this phone. You got a 6.7 inch AMOLED uh, 1080 times 24. Very bright colors. And uh, to watch videos on this phone, I watched Netflix and uh, I watched the 1080p video on it. I was stunned at how nice the resolution on this phone is, but 
The speakers on it are not that loud. That's another thing that I did wasn't a fan of it. So I'm gonna show you a quick video. You guys can see the resolution, plus can see how loud the speakers get on this phone because they do not get that loud. Design, look at this, very nice design, very slim. Very light and it comes with a 5000 milliamp battery on this phone and it will last you for a couple days. I use this phone all day, I went to work, came home, I forgot about charging it, the next day I still had battery left. And you gotta see that camera set up on this thing. Love that circle thing and it comes with 108 MP camera. I'll show you guys some pictures that I took with this phone. These pictures are taken with the 108 MP camera. And this is a 2K video that I took. Now I'm gonna say the one thing that I didn't like about this phone is that Wi-Fi connection on this phone, it is so freaking bad, okay? It's so headache that I don't even use it sometimes, I just use my mobile data. When you have the Wi-Fi on, I'm inside the house right now, my Wi-Fi is at four when I'm sitting beside the router. The router is right there and I have the fastest internet you can get in Canada. I have 5G top notch, the best, the highest speed you can get. I'm paying so much money for that. But as soon as I go down the hall from my house, go outside, to the backyard, Wi-Fi gets cut off. Any other phone that I use, I have uh, four Wi-Fi even if I walk in the back of my, my uh, backyard. This phone, Wi-Fi connection is really bad. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. If you can see, that's my uh, internet router right there. It is the fastest router that you can have in Canada. It is 5G fastest speed you can get. Now we're gonna see how much internet I'm gonna have. If you look at my phone right now, I have four bars on it. But as soon as I go around the corner, out to the backyard, I'm gonna have no internet connection. Let me show you guys. Right now I'm outside my house, right outside the door, and we're gonna look at my phone, I'm gonna have no bars left. Look at this, isn't that crazy? I'm not even that far away from the router. That's one thing that gives me headache on this phone, is the internet connection. But overall, after a week using this phone for the price range, I don't think there is anything out there so far that can beat this phone. And a lot of you guys ask me, do the 5G um, version of this? I looked at the 5G version and I looked at this, they're all the same thing. Same display, same camera, same performance, same everything. But the chipset on the 5G, it is not worth it because it comes with the Ministry 800. You got a Helio G99. So don't go buy the uh, 5G version of this phone because then you're not gonna have as powerful as chipset than this one. With the Ministry 800 here and the Helio G99, this thing is up here, that one is down here. So you're gonna have a very powerful phone, but then you're gonna have a 5G phone, but not as much power. So you're not gonna be able to do much gainings with that phone. So that is my opinion. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. 
I so far I love it. It is my second phone. I use it every day. I am not kidding, guys. I use this phone every day. So yeah, let me know in the comment what you guys think, and I'm gonna catch you guys on my next video. Peace out for now.